Did you know that there was a cool way to control your iTunes library from your iOS device? Let's take a look at the remote app today. All right, what this app basically allows us to do is you got all your songs in your iTunes account and you just be able to, uh, you're able to control it from your, your phone or your iPad if you're not around. All right, we got my uh, iTunes library here as you can see. I won't play any of the music. Turn it down because obviously it gets copyrights. Gotta love that bullshit. It's there. Just know that it's playing. Um, yeah. So let's just leave it play here. But again, I have the audio down because of copyrights. Then let's just jump on my phone here. So what we're able to do, Apple's got a nice remote app. It's called Remote. So uh, let's launch it here. And it immediately, if you're on the same Wi-Fi connection, it'll show you the shared library, which is me. So I'll go ahead and click that. So there, it already knows what I'm playing. I, I have Janus Eyesore and it already came up. And believe me, I can turn it up here too. So it is there. And you can just, you can go check your up next. You can whatever, delete some with a simple swipe, add a song, let's say I wanted to add something else here. Um, just like that, done. So that song will play next. Pause it, play, very nice. So yeah, we can hit next. And the Dima came up because I put that one to up next. And of course it's there, yeah. Very cool way if you're not near your computer, you're working in the house or something, maybe you got a Sono setup, bring it up, control everything from there. Again, this is uh, it's got all your music that's on your Macintosh, you're in iTunes, of course. Let's play, you know, something else, and immediately it plays. You can see right over here, too, in iTunes, it automatically switched, so we're all in sync, and then believe me, it's playing. So you can't ask for better than that. Like really, this is a, the app that really hasn't been utilized a lot and it's pretty pretty neat and clean, really. I mean, now if we scroll down far enough, I do have some music videos in here. If, let's try to play one. And it just shows the screenshot on the app, but it does play it on the computer. Um, the one problem here, if you try to fast forward a video, it hangs up. It's either a bug or they didn't mean it to be for videos. See, I, I'm gonna have to cancel out now because it's, it really hung up on me. Oh, yep, see, big problem. So yeah, awesome. cool check it out it's called remote app apple makes it pretty fucking slick this is total bullshit this is a huge story and it's like it's just getting kind of swept under the rug the year 3000 AD on, apparently there's no life on the planet. Prime Minister <laughs> coming out, aliens are real. Yeah, they're real. But no big deal, but hey. So yeah, so he disappears at 29 and all of a sudden, boom, he shows up here. By the way, we've discovered a base on the back side of the moon. They found these? Like, yeah. The so it stopped at 1006 and it says Swiss was engraved on the back. There's actually, he has a guy, a witness that comes up that did alien recovery. When I got out in 1989, we had cataloged 57 different species. 57 different species. No, the other two reactors are still working. There's people going to work in Chernobyl. There's two more nuclear reactors still running there. Holy fuck, you just yeah. blew my mind. We do not expect harmful levels of radiation to reach the 
West Coast. Oh, yeah. oh, oh my God. And when you burn thorium in a molten salt reactor, you get 99.999% burn up. Holy fuck. Men in black cars and men in black, Matt Wilson. Official policy regarding UFOs is that they do not exist. Uh, unless uh, uh, the Defense Department proves us otherwise that it was probably uh, some form of an alien spacecraft.